Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna discover this game called Tyranny. It's published by Paradox. Uh, that's basically it. I, I've played some Paradox games. I know they are crazy about the rules. Uh, but I, I don't even know like what the setting of this game is. Uh, Epic Games gave it to me for free. This is the the setting story mode. Minimal micromanagement. Easily forgives mistakes. Boring. Normal strategy and efficiency forgives a few mistakes. Companion combat AI is enabled. Oh, normal. I mean, I mean, no. So let's see what Tyranny is all about. I don't even know what the what the setting of this game is. I don't know what it's about. Uh, I like going blind into stuff like this. I feel like it's uh, it makes up for the coolest reactions. Uh, the lore skill can be used to impress characters in conversations. Okay, so I'll be... I'll be conversating with people, apparently. Uh, it looks kind of Greek. Maybe it's about mythology or something? For over 400 years. The armies of Kairos the Overlord have swept across the known world. All who stood against them fell before their might. Even the Archons, women and men of immense power, were forced to kneel, chained to the Overlord's will. Now Kairos's final conquest has come to our corner of the world and two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor of taking our lands. The elite disfavored, and the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. The voices of Narad, spymaster and archon of secrets, guides the fierce and undisciplined masses of the Scarlet Chorus. With each battle, the Scarlet Chorus grows stronger as the defeated are given a simple choice. Serve or die. Graven Ash, Archon of War and the Overlord's most loyal general, leads the disfavored. Though small in number, Kairos's ironclad legion has never met true defeat in open battle. Watching over the two generals is Tunan, the Adjudicator, Archon of Justice, eldest of Kairos's minions. Tunan brings Kairos' laws to newly conquered lands, aided by the fate binders, judges and executioners of the Overlord's laws. You were among the youngest of the court of fate binders when Kairos' armies came to our lands. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands? I'm the main character. That's right. I'm the whoa. <laughs> the default is is uh, this channel. Huh? I didn't even know you were gonna have a boy to control. The damn skinny man, but tall. Normal one, slightly tan. The, going for that sweet Mediterranean look, yeah. In the Northern Empire, where you were born, men enjoy equal protections under the laws of the rule of kindness. In the Southern lands of the years, only men may own or captain ships, but real estate is restricted to women. Huh? Men may lease, but durable ownership of the land in the tears always passes to eldest daughters or sister. Most sons enter their father's profession by their mid-teens. Those without a profession or family lands to work can find purpose in pledging service. Hold on, music. <laughs> this music pledging service to one of the overlords, mighty archons. Criminals, terrorists, and other 
soldiers are often conscripted into the armies of the Archons. If a child cannot afford his own skin, I don't know what the skin is, he will certainly find one in battle. So, if I'm a woman, I can own real estate. Okay. I, li I like real estate. Okay, I'll be this lady. Mediterranean look. Whoa, that's not Mediterranean at all. <laughs> okay. something every day. What is this? Tattoos. Hell yeah. A tree? A tree? A tree. Next. History. How did you join Kairos army? Wait, I'm in the army? I thought I was a real estate owner. Oh boy. Um, um. War Mage? I'm doing magic in my thing. Few have the combination of wits and courage to be accomplished casters and warriors, and those cursed with such a combination of talents are invariably pulled from their mundane lives and assigned to the armies of the Archons. Your earliest memories are a painful slog of training, study, lecture, and exhaustion. Just like in real life! Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, we're going for this one. I don't need to read the next, the, the rest of this. Uh, when reached adulthood, Tunon the Adjudicator came to the barracks and laid claim to your life. Seeing you was too valuable for the crucible of battle, he deemed your life better spent dedicating to the art of punitive legal remedies. Though you had much to learn in matters of civil discourse, none could deny your bright future, as Tunin's great next enforcer. War Mage it is, then. Next. You were trained in the following combat style. Ooh. Ooh. Frost spells. Cool. I can pick another one? Oh, oh it's just, it was loading. Look at me! Tree. So mysterious. Can I pick another one or can I only pick one? Well, I don't know which one to choose. There's atrophy is probably like stuns and stuff, right? Drains the skills and attributes. Vigor. This is just buffs. I'll go for frost. It's a, I see a number two over here. Can I? Next, whatever. Secondary. Hey, let's go. Well, I'm a be atrophy. Touch of atrophy. Two meters range. Uh, yeah. So if Vigor has heal, I can go for Vigor. I like healing. Plus two vitality, plus two might. Uh, Actually, okay. Let's go. Character colors. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Let's go for a. Black. That, no, that's 
crazy. Banner. I have a tree. Is there anything tree related? <laughs> Some of these are kind of cool. But no tree. Just the closest we're gonna get to one. Uh, blue and uh, blue and black. Ah, you can barely see it. Like this. Cold, cold was fine. So, enter name. Well, I'm a female. So, I'm just this yes. Physical strength, no. Physical and mental precision. I don't see anything like major layers, which is weird. This is like D&D, kinda. Which uh, I play sometimes in my hands. Ooh. Endure physical and mental challenges. Uh, maybe not resolve. Maybe we go for more quickness. Do more spells faster. 20 points available, okay. Let's dump 10 of those into magic staff. And what else? Lore, skill, a character's ability to decipher information and put together clues. I'm starting to like this already. The fact that the, this exists, if it matters at some point, that would be cool. Uh, control Atrophy and Control Frost. Frost will be my go-to, so points on this. And Atrophy, points on that. Uh, I'll put some more here in the lore. And I got two left. Gonna get Frost some more love. Let's go next. How do you want to continue? Conquest? Well, option will allow you to play through Kairos Conquest of the Tears, choosing how your character was involved in the invasion. This gives you the most control over the starting state of the game and how other factions will react to your character. Quick start. Bypass the Conquest. No, I'm here to play the game. I want to play the game. This, I don't like. Why are there two start... whatever. Let's go. All the world has fallen to Kairos. And now the Overlord's eye is on the Tears, our home. The last corner of the world free of Kairos's reign. Two armies, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, march south from the Northern Empire, the last realm to fall to Kairos a century prior. Okay. In the early oh, days of 428, <laughs> Kairos's armies arrive at the Gates of Judgment the mountainous border that we Tearsmen so long believed unassailable. Hey. Unable to agree on a unified plan of defense, the various leaders of the Tears sit and wait for each Went other to... Went in and did everything. During the conquest, you will decide your character's actions during Kairos' invasion of Tears, shaping the world through which you will adventure over the course of the game. Each choice you make affects your character and how major factions of the tiers respond to you. Your decisions matter, choose wisely. So you say... 428... Ah, I didn't read it! Oh. Look at this piece. The Bastard City. The Bastard City stood on northern border between Kairos Empire and Tears, built upon a natural harbor at the crossroads between realms. The city was an axis commerce. To the Tears, it was the center of all wealth. To a northerner, it was little more than a backwater trading post. 
Its symbolic status is a gateway to the continent made it a natural first target to Cairo's military conquest. Circumstances were ideal for you to prove your worth as a soldier in Cairo's armies. Taking this city would send a message to the rest of the tears. Kairos is Kairos will is insurmountable. Okay, okay. Infiltrate the tears. Oh I, I select a token to begin. This is major engagement. This is infiltrate the tears, both armies. I just gotta pick one. History would remember the Gates of Judgment as the first battle of the conquest, but the real combat unfolded with advance units of both armies preparing for the coming of the war. The disfavored and Scarlet Chorus, Scarlet Chorus, I'm sorry, each had a plan to infiltrate the capital city. Which army did you join? I mean, uh, which is the blue one? I think it's this one. I think that one is the. No. <laughs> this favorite, yes. The, the, the organized boys. You lend your skills to the elite disfavored scouts to capture... Okay. Yeah, boost morale troops. Okay. That's what I did. Oathbound scouts identify the modest border defense and collab collaborated on an organized attack that would leave the enemy uncoordinated and cut off from aid. You oversaw the preparations and offered your opinions on the strategy. When the clashing of swords and spears fell to the silence, followed by the cheering of this favorite scouts, you were the least surprised. Of course we win, it's too easy. Okay, now I gotta pick something again. Uh, containing the fire. Bastard series, resident fire mages threaten your first light. I'm frost mage, oh my god. Inside age. No, 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 no. Fire, I'm frost mage. I hate fire mage. Fire mage is worst. Your fiercest opponents in the bastard city were the mages of the school of Wild Red, the barbaric to use their power responsibly. The unbridled practitioners needed to be stopped. How did you trick the hot-tempered mages into their own undoing? Disfavored ambush, Voices of Nareth. Trick the guild elders into meeting with the Voices of Nareth. Uh, Nareth is the, the guy in the middle of the two armies who just talks to people. Archon of Secrets. The Archon was notorious for his cool and mysterious interrogation techniques. The mages were never seen again. I think I'm gonna lure them to the to the ambush here. Okay, I have lured them to the ambush and they're gone. Next. Your tactics of infiltration placed you in the bastard city ahead of the main armies. Your work softened the cities for the arrival of Kairos forces, but you wanted a decisive gesture that would give your allies a meaningful advantage. How did you assist? Oh who did you assist? No, you challenge the commander of the Bastard City's defense for an honorable fight to the death. Uh huh. So the, the disfavored liked would like to. I don't know. I like the disfavored. I don't know why. They're organized. I like organization. Spreading the word of Kairos, you converted the poor and disaffected into a hidden army in the Scarlet Chorus. Once it was settled, the army wished to bolster their troops with these sleeper cells. So inside right, okay. Spread fear through assassination. Eliminated the leaders of the bastard city one by one. And this gives me this. Sure, I eliminate them one by one. Some deaths were quiet and unnoticed, while others were gruesome and beyond words. As a wave of murder overtook the city's elite, your deeds swelled in infamy well before the armies arrived. No one in the bastard city felt safe, felt safe in their homes, much less behind their walls. By the time Kairos forces crested the horizon, the city was fearful enough to throw open the gates at... Oh, I'm so good. And just like that, it was all me. It really was. I pressed three buttons and the city falls. 
Uh, I hope this is the entire gameplay. I don't mind reading a lot, um, but I don't feel the interactiveness yet. We'll see. The bastard city settled into a new state of normalcy, with every tower displaying Kairos banner. Your name was whispered alongside rumors of a decorated career to come. The army is divided into two fronts and migrated south. To an onset, were that you were to join the next frontier of Kairos conquest, either as a judge and overseer of the settlement of Lethian's Crossing, or as a war advisor with the armies advancing into the realm of Apex, oversee Lethian's Crossing, or go to Apex and play Apex in Apex. What? So, I either oversee a settlement, or continue warring. I mean... I'm a war mage, I continue warring. The mountain of nation of Apex, ruled for generations by the queens of House Vandrian, stood Vandrian, sorry, stood at the hearts of the Tears. No army could bypass the landlocked realm without leaving their flank exposed to attack. By the second year of the war, the disfavored and scarlet chorus had pushed deep into the Tears. Elements of both armies were dispatched to conquer Apex. Tunon assigned you to accompany them, tasked with bringing Kairos law to the territory, as well as keeping an eye on both armies. Okay. So. Battle of something. The denial of something. A new school of mages presented problems and opportunities. Archon of Stone's assault was perhaps too successful. I'll deal with the mage stuff. Uh... The disfavored wish to annihilate the school, while the Scarlet Chorus insisted on capturing the mages and learning their craft. Wait, is the Scarlet Chorus the cool, the organized boys? Ah. Uh, well, in this case, I'm intending on capturing them. Taking a life for interrogation. Countless lives were lost, taking the mages into custody. Scarlet Lotus, praise your name. As you were dragged, as they dragged the beaten elders of the school to the voices of Nerath's tent. A wave of screams and incoherent pleas reached the crescendo. The Scarlet Chorus soldiers outside cheered for their archon. The disfavored adjourned their camp in grim silence, claiming the chorus lacked the will and desire to fully wipe out all traces of the enemy's cool. Sure. Captive Captain. Poisoning the well. Nah, I am poisoning no fucking well. When Kairos forces capture the celebrated enemy hero, the armies bickered over his fate. The disfavored wanted him set free to convince his peers of Kairos' mercy. The Scarlet Chorus wanted him flayed and staked as an example. Yo! <laughs> so this time, the Disfavored uh, wanted to do it free, and the Chorus ones want to do it normal. Okay. I'll execute. I like to organize boys more. Uh-huh. Let's see, the disfavored... Disciple... Oh, the disfavored are the disciple ones. Okay, okay, okay. So, the disfavored. Shocked by your clemency, the enemy captain vowed to deliver his message in full and paid his respects before departing for his encamp encampment. Though typically more uncompromising, the disfavored praised your in innovative thinking. The Scout Chorus despised what they viewed disgusting as resources wasted only to release a known enemy back into the world. 
10, just like that, Apex falls. Uh, with the defeat of Apex and inevitable the armies of Kairos meet to discuss how to put an end to this stage of conquest. Both armies agree to send an office, offer of parley along with their acceptance. The enemy requested that you appear at the meeting. Word of you, word of your fair dealings had apparently spread to their ranks. How do you orchestrate the surrender of the realm of Apex? Um, negotiated the surrender of the valley to Kairos. Taunting, striking under a banner of truce, baited the queen into a duel and slew her, frightening her vassals into submission. I'm really strong. I, I, I'm starting to see a pattern here. I'm amazing. I'm the best mage there has ever existed. I can do it all if I want. I can, I can kill the queen of this area. I don't know if they're gonna like that. So I'll just, I'll just... I uh, picked the non-killing queen one. Your former enemies were loath to part with their lands, but they were even more reluctant to continue a war they were losing at every turn. The Tearsmen are a stubborn lot, and despite their grim situation, it still took days of discussion and diplomacy to show them the madness of tenacity. On the third day of meditation, the rulers of Apex finally submit to your terms of surrender, putting an end to the war in the valley and freeing up Kairos forces to march deeper into the tears. Next. Let's go. Okay, two decisions again. Land of Apex finally rested in the hands of Kairos forces. The Scarlet Chorus paused to revel in victory, while the disfavored, which are the disciple ones, prepared for the next fight for themselves but an evening's rest. Kairos' armies radiated from the conquered citadel and worked their ways out across the tiers. The disfavored and I assume tiers are lands. Or people uh, that live in those lands. Tearsmen, those are tearsmen. Okay. The Disfavored and Scarlet Chorus aim to dominate as much territory as possible in the coming year. Your distinguished reputation left the choice for the next destination yours to make. Citadel Azure or Starworth. I don't know what Starworth is. Oh, it says here. Easily defended position, rich military tradition. Acon of Stone to subjugate the nation of Azure. Valon Citadel, its knowledge, its secrets. Let's go to Valon. Okay, this is the penultimate conquest of some. And then we can start playing the game. Then. This is all an intro. This is a long ass intro. How long have, has, has this been recorded? Hold on. I can't tell. <laughs> oh yes I can. 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. Well, the Vellum Citadel was an archive and library of massive scale. Its inhabitants were known as the School of Ink and Quill, a circle of mages that centuries ago carved out their own mountainous refuge on lands unsettled by the other major realms. Legends said that the citadel housed the treasure trove of arcane knowledge. The overlord's spies infiltrated the school and confirmed as much. The time was right to send a detachment to the great library fortress and force the scholars to yield to Kairos. Okay, very much knowledge here. Let's see what we do. Song of Ensnarement. A peaceful surrender turned bloody. Ah, I like this one. Song of Ensnarement. Okay. Syrian Arcan of Song used her power to enthrall enemy mages who crept beyond the citadel walls. After Kairos forces rounded up the arcane practitioners, the disfavored began executing the new captives before they could share dangerous knowledge. A crime under Kairos law. Oh really? You can't... You can't execute the new captives before they can... With the Scarlet Corps, of course. The stupid Scarlet Corps. 
swords. You calm the disfavored with a compromise. The sages' mouths would be bound with an iron bridles, preventing them from speaking their forbidden knowledge. You punish the disfavored for executing. Oh, the disfavored are the ones who screwed up. Mages bound to the scoutboards, ordering that several disfavored soldiers be given to the Archon of Song as a personal. Yeah, why the hell are you guys killing those mages? That's the one I picked. Uh, the wisdom of sages and knowledge of Vellum, Cit Vellum Citadel were too important to silence. The disfavored balked at entering the Archon service, but your ruling left them with no recourse. Archon Siren delighted in having new toys to play with and promptly enthralled her personal guard. You spotted them in camp days later, following their new mistress with wide-eyed devotion. So the guys actually liked it. Okay. Spymaster suspicions when sages surrender. Right of command, Siren composed songs of strength and provoked bloody slaughter. So, Spy Masters Asia. A group of enemy majors surrendered to the disfavored, claiming to be spies loyal to the voices of heaven. No one in the army could verify the claim. The disfavored ready to interrogate the majors. But the Scarlet Lotus protested, demanding that the prisoners be given to their custody. Yo, these two got it. They got a fucking chill. They couldn't risk the voices of Narath secrets falling into the wrong hands. Wait, this favor. Yeah. <laughs> you took time putting over the major's confiscated documents, finding no blatant messages to the voices of Narath or anyone else. You resolved the question the mages yourself, when you reached their cells, you discover the bodies. Each of them slaughtered in a grisly display. Tense discussion and accusations followed, but no evidence suggests a responsible party. You were forced to let the matter drop. Shay. So the other guys didn't kill them anyway. Edict of fire. Food and morale dwindled. As the siege party realized the enemy would win this war of attrition. Tunan sent word that Kairos' patients had run thin, the overlord would cast an edict of fire on the enemy. The parchment arrived in a slender case in engraved iron, of engraved iron. Written on it, the words of a spell powerful enough to destroy the Vellum Citadel. You had the choice of when to read the edict. edict. Reading it at sunrise would offer your enemies no warning of the devastation to come. You could also wait until sunset, giving them ample time to flee or make amends. Uh, opting to give the enemy no quarter. Uh, though the chorus insisted your actions doomed the spies. The disfavor, the plot. No, 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 no. no I'm, I'm giving them time. You confronted the mages with a warning and a hope the message would be received. An hour before sunset, numerous figures were spotted fleeing the citadel. As the sun dipped under the horizon, you read the words of the edict, which is Kairos' most powerful magic. Their commandments that can destroy entire regions. Okay. The earth shook, and red orange light glowed in the foundation of the sprawling citadel. Bubbling up from under the library, a torrent of lava headed with explosive force, gushing from the windows between those bricks, melting winding trenches in the surrounding land. Days later, the flames still raged on, the conflagration continued, continually fed and renewed the power of the evening. And the city burned. Okay, the armies of Kairos left the devastation of the Velm Citadel in silence. From that day forward, the tears came to know the once noble citadel as the burning library. This was an undisputed loss of resources, knowledge, culture, and life, but a message had been sent. The overlord would not tolerate defiance. You didn't have long to rest before Tunan called you into service once more. You were one of the last to depart from the mountains and as you journeyed off, you spotted a few campfires in the mountains. 
They were mere specks dwarfed by the Inferno, the last crest of survivors or perhaps looters from Kairos armies, bored and daring enough to pick through the ashes. Are we done? Yeah! Do you want to continue or erase? Continue, dude, just continue. That was interesting, but I ain't doing that again. Uh, we learned a lot about the lore of this world, I guess. Kind of confused how the dishonored are the organized ones and the Scarlet Chorus are the uh, raging horde, but sometimes they want to kill and sometimes they don't and they keep switching. Uh, so, uh, I would just initially I assumed like that the uh, Scarlet Chorus was gonna be the genocide committing one and I was gonna be anti genocide. But both of them seem to like genocide sometimes, and other times not so much. And then you have Tunon, which is uh, kind of a second in command. He just gives orders in the name of the Lord, Kairos. And that was it. Uh, I have a lot of decisions, but they were all between two. I would either do something that pleased the dishonor. The year is 431, and Kairos's invasion has shattered all major opposition in the tiers. The Younger Realms, the Bastard Tier, the Free Cities. All who defied Kairos lay broken by battle, or bowed in surrender. The two armies of the Overlord, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, now control our lands. As expected. But our will is not yet extinguished. Not entirely. In the Valley of Vendrian's Well, those of us unwilling to bow to Kairos have banded together in defiance. Violating an oath of surrender from two years prior, we have staged a bloody uprising, murdering the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus garrison in a midnight assault. With their main forces spread across the tiers, the disfavored and scarlet chorus redeploy to Vendrian's Well to crush the resistance. But months pass with no definitive battle. As disagreement and discord paralyze the Archons, we bide our time and wait for our message of insurrection to spread across the tiers. The Overlord is not amused, and Kairos has one message for the Archons. Crush the Oath Breakers, or die. Kairos backs this threat with an edict, a magical commandment that can slay all in the valley should the order be ignored. The honor of proclaiming this edict fell to you. Sent across the mountains to Vendrian's Well, oh boy. you carry the Overlord's edict to read before the Archons. Hello, I am Disco. I am here to read the thing that will carry you. As you finally make your way through the winding mountain passes into the valley, the ground trembles, and Kairos's magic seals the way behind you. You are trapped in Vendrian's Well, with Kairos's armies and the Oathbreakers. The only way to survive is to fulfill the terms of the Overlord's Edict, in crying. any way that you can. And I am crying blood. Oh! That's a that's something. That's something. That's cinematic, baby. We find out this character who's been expecting you. Uh, hello. The Overlord. Kairos, the Overlord, be praised. When I heard the avalanche, I feared the valley was sealed with you on the other side. The disfavored warrior claps her gauntlet to her breastplate. The traditional salute of religion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Aurora. You're looking mighty purple, Aurora. Are you okay? I've gained the favor. Well, I'll read this first. A pleasure to see you again, Fatebinder. You were with us since before the first official days of the conquest. Yes, I played it through. And so it's fitting you're here now, in 
what I hope is the last gasp of resistance from these backward steersmen. Here's hoping you can convince the Archons to settle on a plan to crush the Oathbreakers. That is why we're here, right? No, we're here to the Hold on. Conversations. Involve you, another character, blah blah blah. I ain't reading, I ain't reading, blah blah blah. People in the world will learn of your reputations and respond accordingly. Yes, yes. Your characters, attributes, skills, story, and gender. Uh huh. I'll open up conversations for your dialogue. These are not necessarily superior to the other ones. The manner in which someone responds depends on their individual personality. Each character who speaks to you will display a banner beneath their portrait. Okay, that's their faction. Uh, names of important characters, gold text color, tooltips, and the glossary entry. Important. Okay, cool. So, how do we answer to Aurora? Um, I come bearing an edict. Do I tell her about the edict? I do not have 20 lore, do I? Ho ho ho. Can you hear that hum in the air? That glow around the rocks? The avalanche is Kairos magic. The Overlord has sealed the valley. Uh, your senses are more than mine, good, good faith finder. I do not pretend to know much about such things. But if that was Kairos magic, and you're here on important business, well... You don't have to be the Archon of Secrets to guess that you're here to proclaim an edict. What does Kairos have in store for the enemy? Ten years of festering plague, an edict of twisted bones. Uh, I'm not saying. Glare silently. A nervous smile creeps over, over her as she waits for a response that doesn't arrive. I am asking questions beyond my stature. She dips low, trembling as she bows. Forgiveness, please. Well, you've traveled a long way. I won't keep you further. I'm sure the Archons will want to hear you from at... Her voice falls silent, her attention snapping eastward with alarm. Did you hear that? More runners. Their time this week. The Oathbreakers keep trying to send messengers through the mountains to gather help from outside the valley. She points over to the collapsed path which you arrived. But they're a bit too late for that. Come, let's show these Oathbreakers. It's a good fight. Okay, I'll go and be fine. Oh, I, I attacked him. No conversation now. Possible real time combat system. Uh, bought the game. Orders. Options menu. And such. Uh, perform basic attacks. They're equipped with weapon. This is cool. I like this. Characters also have special abilities. Of course, when a character is selected, their ability on this place. Let's stop here. Oh, look, it's me! When a character is selected, their ability displays. Their hotkey abilities. As new abilities and spells are gained, they are added to the ability bar. Oh, it's here. This is it. Bam. All of your character abilities and spells can be accessed by selecting the category icon. The abilities are limited to talent spells, combo abilities, artifacts. To use an icon, left click on the ability icon and press the hotkey corresponding to its location on the ability bar. Your cursor will change to indicate whether your mouse is over a valid target for the ability. If the cursor has a red X on the corner, you are not over a valid target. The cursor has a pair of feet in the corner, you will need to move closer. Got it. For abilities, target party members, click on the party portraits, target the Sure. This is a lot. This is a lot. Fucking paradox, dude. Five primary defenses, parry, dodge, endurance, will, and magic. Can I see the guys? Yeah, they're... 
started in 2047. So he has a big endurance. Really bad magic. That these defense is based on the character attributes, equipped items, and other effects. Character's accuracy is based on the skill and the type of weapon they're wielding. Accuracy is compared to the appropriate defenses. Blah 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 blah. Aha. Uh -huh. Four possible results from an attack hit. Critical hit, graze, miss. What does a graze do? A graze reduces it. Okay. We done. So it's boss, keep going. Should I? Okay. Sorry, I can't. Frozen Grasp. Okay, can I cast it? I think I'm about Will to... do. <laughs> Is he frozen? Aurora seems to be... This guy... Further along the path from that counter, which can I Oh, what do you mean? You're the queen! Oh. Avalanche.
Try and catch me, worm. A young scout feels leaves around the vanishing times, avoiding the weapon with full grace should not spook him. Stunts to the right side. A real enemy soldier casts the last of countrymen. This was crazy. Too much of their war. We should cut our losses and turn back. Fake finder. You're here at last. Care to join me in putting these cowards out of their misery? Sure. That's fine. Trouble is afoot. Oh, she's in my car. If I can't move, I can't dance. Not a problem, boss. I'm the boss. Will do. Use the frost on the guy. Yeah. Let them think they can hit Okay, so this is like a roll. Phew. I can tell you didn't spend the conquest in a diplomat's tent. I'm verse, by the way. But there are more important things to take care of than introductions. Those Vendrian guard we killed didn't come alone. Okay. Eager! <laughs> I like that. Before we go, you might search among the remains of our fallen comrades. Wherever they're bound, I doubt they'll miss their boots, much less any rings or any useful iron they might be clutching. No reason to pity the fallen. Before long, we might wish we'd joined them here. But at least we'll enjoy heavy pockets and warm toes. Yeah. For the voices of Narat! First follows her brow and focuses down the bell to come. Okay. Uh, let's just put some bodies in. Looting is nice. I'm controlling her. Ice forward, no looking back. Veteran guard warriors roam with their flaws.
she's gonna be in the combo thing. Yeah. Versus during their part. Melee and range. Controlling the command directly or enable their AI. How do I do it? Ah! Me again, and you lose a limb. Okay, there must be a better way. Oh, I see. Find out how long a man screams before hitting the ravine down below. This is Pelox Tyrant, uh, one of the city guards, right? Venturing guard. And he has a commander captain. Cornered between a pre precipitous drop and a band of angry soldiers, the Oathbreaker warriors holds a disfavored officer at knife point. Which is the guy that's about to like school him, worry not for me. Graven Ash will protect who's Graven Ash. It's by it's an archon, okay? It's a mythical thing. Okay. The disfavor the disfavored officer winces blood seeping from the seams of his braces and goodness. Mocking blaze, which is scarlet. You heard the man. He plainly invited you to use that little blade of yours. What are you waiting for? Permission from your pimp? Damn. This blade? With a jerk of the knife, he slices off a clump of Drastus' mated hair. If you're so eager to see your ally dead, just step closer. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use this one. I'm Disco Karen. My name should be known to you, and it should be an honorable one. Please give me the knife. I gained favor with both of them. No, I gained wrath with one of them. Whatever. Uh, you, your two knots envoy, you 
watches him closely for one moment until his posture slackens and he lowers the knife. If you will vouch for my safety, then I'll... His sentence is hastened by a spear thrust from his lung. Leaping forward the moment Tyrell lowers his blade, the disfavored soldiers slaughter the Oathbreaker. Drassus dazed but alive. Drassus lets out one side and struggles to his feet. I'll just say nothing. <laughs> Hey, whatever it happened. Kairos be praised. That Oathbreaker fought with the rage of Cain himself. I don't know what that is. Drastus slides a trembling hand alongside the cut of his neck. Thank you, Freakbinder. I thought today was my last. Drastus again. From the look of it, I guess they thought if they swam the pass, maybe one might make it out. Maybe one might make it out? We found a few scraps of parchment on the bodies. Drastus holds a handful of crumpled up parchments from your inspection. Literacy is rare in the Northern Empire. Okay. A student of letters such as yourself should be able to make sense of this. Uh, examine it. Repeating the same messages in different written scripts, the parchments explain the Vendrian God's desire to overthrow Kairos Archons and route their armies from the tears. The pages aren't addressed to any specific reader, but rather openly invites all who remain loyal to the younger realms to gather at Vendrian's Well. Vendrian's Well, okay. So. Recruitment material, they're trying to bring more chairs to the fight. Yes. But from the look of it, we kept them from slipping out of the valley. Whatever they hope to accomplish, I think their plan died here. The Archons are expecting you. When you're ready, you leave by the gate to the southeast and follow the trails down slope for a few hours. You will see the campfires leagues away. Can't miss it. Okay. Loot the body, loot the body. Boom. Hey, I got some rope. Sorry, I can't. When a party member takes damage, they will start to lose health. The bar next to their portion will start to decrease when a party member's health drops slow enough. They will gain a wound, and the health bar will turn red. Wounded characters have their maximum health reduced. Wounds are removed when the party rests, or when a character levels up. Verse has a wound. So I'm just dipping now? Aye. Uh, what's happening here? Hello? The Archon demands all prisoners given a chance to serve the chorus. These lying horse spawn. I had the chance long ago. I say kill him. They're always arguing this two. Kill this two. Don't kill that guy. Right. Darkest demos. I, I can't interfere in this. Oh, yes, I can. The prisoner says his name is Tarkis Demos. Drastus let out a long sigh, tapping his gauntlet finger to his temple. Then, I don't think this is a complicated matter. He dies. His family's been a driving force in the Vendrian Guard. Killing him should demoralize whatever's left of the Tarkis clan. The other girl from the Horde says, All must be given a chance to find absolution in service to the Scarlet Chorus. The mage points his finger at the disfavored sort of officer. And you know full well this has always been our way. He has a chance to be slave or soldier. Only then do we feed him to the pigs. We let you take prisoners, but you can't control them. You send these constructs out on patrol and they never return, defecting all over again. I can't let this nonsense strategy continue. Well, I insist this Oathbreaker be taken to the Voices of Nera, leaving us at an impasse. Fortunately, we have a Fate Binder here to settle the matter for us. Uh oh. The Chanter turns to you with an expectant smile creeping across her face. So, what say you? What should become of this prisoner?
Last I was here, the disfavor showed a little more mercy to the enemy. Uh, the court should be allowed to... Well, I'm gonna I'm I'm be with the purple ones. The commander let out a long scythe as he touches the wound by his neck. These filthy hill people spat on the surrender. We were fools to treat them with anything more than violent children. As anything more than violent children, sorry. Mercy is what got us into the protracted fight. Let's not continue this mistake in strategy. Execute the Oathbreaker. One chance to surrender is enough. Reduce. The Thiersman can't be trust trusted. Breaks thieves and whores. Nothing more. Whoa, whoa, chill, bro. <laughs> we were far too merciful for the first time. Drastic thoughts to a nearby warrior. Have this one tied up. He and his friends can watch each other rot in the sun. I won't keep you here any longer, Fate Binder. I know you have important business in the valley. Salute, Iron Gauntlet, uh, da, da. for the glory of Kairos. Uh, cool event, cool event. Yes, yes. Uh, is this just my friend now? She's just gonna come with me forever? Okay. Uh, can I control the map with WASD? Yes, I can. Where am I supposed to go? I hope not down here. I forgot. Sorry. This is a cool ass statue. Over there. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of that people. Who this? Hold on. Hey, who this? Uh, told you how I would pull through, didn't I? Graven Ash Protects. I don't know who you are. This just a random guard, is that it? I don't remember you, I'm sorry. Amnesia. I got it. Oh, oh, look, 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 let's go! Stuff that you can interact with. That's cool. Can't do that. Uh, abandoned memorial. The memorial has been left to weather the elements for many months. Swarm and disrespair. Resting at the top of the memorial, small weather, even enclosure. It was to the top inside. Take the thing. It's mine. This is gonna blow up anyway. But, uh, where do I go? Fine, bro. Uh, oopsie daisy, should have paid more attention. Where am I supposed to go? the wrong way. Why was there so much new content? What's that? Okay, am I supposed to go through here? Oh, thanks. Ah! I, I clicked something. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, okay, you can't. Shut up. Is that me? Is that my voice? Fatebinder, what an honor to have one of the two nuns court visit our humble holdfast. Need supplies? 
Bursting with energy, the merchant slams her palm down on top of the crate. So you've come to the right place. Ah, uh, let's see what you have. I want nothing. Sorry, I can't. There's a rope over there, and I'd like to see what's on top of that. Stuff to explore, stuff to explore. Oi! Oi! Hello? Climb up the rope. Interesting. What's this? Potion of invisibility. Interesting. That's a locked stone, I see. Can't do that. We can go invisible at some point. See, that's interesting. I should have gone through here. Can't do that. Sorry, oh, I can't. Oh, I go there. Um, boys. How do I leave this place? Can I, can I, can, is there anything interactable here? Weapons and armor. These are not. These are like spears that they use to stack people on. This is horde guys. Uh, look. Oh, look. Maybe this is it. <laughs> I should laugh. <laughs> is that offensive? Oops. No. Sorry, I can't. Oh, through here. Can't do that. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, Sorry, I can't. Looks like I, can. I could have gone through over there. Can't do that. It's an interesting game so far. I will play more. Definitely. Oh! Two out! Oh! And the time went on over there. Cool. And so our journey begins. Well, that was an interesting start. Before we get into more, I must save the game. Let's end it here, folks. Uh, this has been Disco Cara. Uh, we're discovering this game now. Let's see what it has in store. So far, lots of text. Uh, but no strategy. Let's see how the story goes. I'm not afraid to drop uh, stuff. Uh, that said, it, it is kind of hard for me to, to drop things. I usually don't. Uh, we'll see if this maintains me interested long enough for me to finish it. So far, I wouldn't say I'm loving it. It's, it's been decent. Uh, but yeah, that's been me, uh, see you later.